Uh, so my first question is one of the reasons I fell in love with Evil Dead, both from your direction and from your acting, is the intensity of Evil Dead in every single film. What is it like to hand off that intensity to, in your, in your case, uh, a director in Lee Cronin, and in your case, in actresses that fully embody that, you know, that intensity that you had as Ash? Uh, in my case, I was delighted to pass the mantle on to a younger, supple, more supple generation than myself. And uh, the just trick is to find actors who are committed. That, that's the trick. And for me, it was great finding a craftsman like Lee who could take our much beloved horror series and take it to the next logical step. We knew how much directors and actors need to be protected yeah. and supported and criticized when necessary, but challenge, you know, challenge, challenge for the good of the project. As a creative conversation is filled with so many different points of view, you really want to find the truth or the, the best way to do things, and that's done through discussion and an exchange of ideas. But it felt wonderful knowing that we had a great craftsman likely at the helm. So I'm going to be honest, I have seen a lot of movies in the Paramount. I have not seen a movie like what was shown last night with that much crowd matching the intensity of the film. What was it like being in the middle of that? Well, being in the middle of it for me was a massive relief as a producer because we've seen this movie in little bubbles. We've seen it in little studios, little editing suites, occasionally in a theater with a test audience, but they're not even really Evil Dead fans. Yeah. This was the truest test of, of the e real fans in a beautiful theater with incredible technical specs that matched the majesty of the theater. So you couldn't really have had a better scenario. South by Southwest, there, this is the best place to have shown it because Austin is a movie-loving town as well as a music-loving town. So it's a big relief to, to go, oh, okay, it's working. And it kept working. It's awesome. For you? Yeah, for me it was the same thing. I was just happy that the audience was so into it. It was like being in the middle of a roller coaster ride and seeing them scream and then all get quiet together <laughs> and the occasional person shouting, get away from that door, don't do it. <laughs> it was fun. Um, so as producers, um, what are maybe some pieces of the film that you all kind of took, uh, made your focus on interacting with? I know I think I heard from the sound editor that you were very involved with some of the sound, Bruce. We trade off. We were involved in casting and script early on. Rob Tappert, our partner, is a nuts and bolts producer who will put the crew together and, and really do a lion's share of the producing work. And then we'll come in after we see the versions. I think one thing that the Evil Dead movies are never long. Yeah. They, they go and they're out and you're done. And I think part of it was encouraging Lee to get at it, keep it tight, keep it moving. Uh, it's one of the longest of the Evil Dead movies, ironically. Yeah. And so part of that was encouraging him to move it along. I think one of my other questions as well is like, there are now so many generations of Evil Dead fans, and this is going to be somebody's first Evil Dead film. What do you What do you recommend them go into next? Like, how do you How do you want to see this new generation of fans kind of flourish in the franchise? I want them to go to the movie with their buddies, hoping to have a great time, and then screaming and clutch each other's hands and you know shouting back at the screen, just like we saw at last night's world premiere at uh, Austin. Well, I hope that um, this movie might actually lead them to the past because not everyone has seen the Evil Dead movies. Not everyone, you know, cares about it or even likes horror movies. And hopefully somebody will see this one and go, oh, there's, oh, there's more of these? And find it retroactively, you know. Um, so the modern movies can sometimes help the old geezer movies. <laughs> you know, it sort, of, it sort of props them up a little bit. Awesome. Well, thank you both so much for your time thank today. You. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.